everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Episode, Maruko fights with her sister. Wow! This notebook is so cool! Where'd you get it from, Mom? I got it for free when I bought a chi chicken. Can I have it, please? I want to use it for arithmetic. Of course, dear, but I just have one. Don't let Maruko see. Too late. I just heard everything, Mom. Uh. <laughs> That's totally unfair, sis. Give it to me! No, Maruko. Mom gave it to me, okay? What do you even want it for, Maruko? You don't study. You won't need it. Yeah, that's right. Are you trying to con me out of getting something right now? If you bestow on me that notebook, I'll use it every day for practicing Chinese characters and math. Yeah? yeah. Just give it to me, all right? No way, you obstinate <laughs> child. Tickle! <laughs> Tickle! I did it! It's all mine. Oh, that's so unfair. Give it back to me right now. I think it's better if I keep it. Give it back or you're going to get it. Go on. Go right ahead. Get ready for it. <laughs> hey, you really did it. You said to go right ahead. Now give me that notebook back. Hey, let go of it. It's... <laughs> let go of it. Never. <laughs> the little weirdo. How's this for weird? <laughs> How? How dare you kick my leg? Because you deserve. <laughs> Both of you, just cut it out right now! <laughs> Let it go! You're bonkers! Yeah. You think you'll get this? You're the one who's bonkers! Here! I will give 100 yen to the first person to back down. The battle's temporarily suspended by the sudden appearance of 100 yen. But... It's more important than money! Uh, uh, their pride won't let them back down for 100 yen. However, in the back of her head, Maruko is thinking of backing down if the price goes up. Come on! I'll let go when you let go, okay? That hurts! Ow, ow, ow! Ow! Cut it out! Give it to me! Treat each other with respect! What's that? I'm ashamed that you're fighting each other over this. Why don't you just rock, paper, scissors for it? You ready? Rock, paper, paper scissors! scissors! <laughs> Hooray! I'm the winner! <laughs> you cheated! You put your hand out late! Let's do it again! You're a sore loser! Come on, best out of three! No way! You're just a big cheater! I'm not, not a cheater! Maruko! You lost the game fair and square! Yeah, but she... Mom's <laughs> right! I'm sick of you complaining when you lose fairly! <laughs> Life's just not fair. I'm going to show you. I wonder what she means by that. Coming from her, I'm not sure she even knows. Oh, Grandpa, help me. Goodness, Maruko, what's wrong? Why are you crying? The worst thing ever just happened to me. Sis cheated at rock, paper, scissors and took my notebook away from me. Well, if you want a notebook so badly, why don't I just give you one? How does that sound? Huh? Here. Uh, it's a little different from the other one. <laughs> It's stamped with Senior Citizens Club. The notebook that I want has a picture of a fish and the logo of the Chi Chicken Company on it. Really? Why don't I draw a picture of a fish on the front, then? 
Right. Picture of a fish. Picture of a fish. There we go. There. Now it's exactly like the one you want. Yeah, it's all right, Grandpa. I'll just do something about it myself. Uh, uh, what's wrong? I feel empty inside. <laughs> I'm fuming mad. Sis really gets on my nerves sometimes. I want her to roll on the floor and apologize. If you really think about it, who rolls on the floor when they apologize? Aha! Uh -huh, I've come up with a good idea. I'll eat an ice cream cone and make her jealous. Ooh! Golly, this is the most delicious ice cream that I've ever had. And I'm not going to give you any of it, sis. No matter how much you beg and beg. I don't care about your ice cream. I'm trying to watch TV, okay? <laughs> That's cold. Even colder than my ice cream. What kind of person in this world can resist ice cream? Uh, it's the wrong season for ice cream. I'm cold. Huh? Hey, sis, where'd you get that meat bun? Ah, oh, nice and warm. It's a severe blow. Oh, this meat bun sure smells delicious. Oh. Uh, that's it! Give me some money to go buy a piece of cake. What are you talking about? We're having dinner soon. Please, Mom. Cake is the only thing that will defeat a meat bun. You strange girl. No. Why do I have to have an inconsiderate oaf for a sister instead of somebody sweet and chill? Curses! My life would be so much better if I was the only child in this house. To her, an only child and the child of a rich family are the same thing. Listen, Dad. Why did you make Sis a child in this family, huh? The thing is, you were born after her, Maruko. Sorry, the first one's the winner. <sighs> huh? Uh -huh. <gasps> you just hid something, didn't you? Thou hast betrayed me! Thou? What's with the fancy talk? Show it to me! No way! Maruko! I see what's happening. You were eating something behind my back! My goodness. <sighs> Uh, why do I miss out on everything fun? Ah! Slap! Ow! Uh, how dare you? <laughs> I'll pay for that! That's it! Game on! Uh, you better watch out! <laughs> oh! Ah! Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Both of you cut it out right now! <laughs> she hurt me! She hurt me really bad! Oh, I'm really mad now! If I know her well, she usually keeps her new notebooks in this sleeve thing. Jackpot, at last. I'm gonna scribble all over this notebook. Perfect, that's a permanent marker. That'll show her. Well, that's not very nice of you, Maruko. I'm just gonna put it back here so she can find it later on. I feel a little bit better now that I got that out of my system. Hiccup? She's hiccuping like she was a boozing sailor. The next day... I'm off to school. Bye, Mom. It's cold. It's a flowers. Maybe they bloom today. I wonder when they'll bloom. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Sis saw them on her way out. <sighs> Forget it. Who cares if she saw the Sasanqua flowers or not? That cardigan you're wearing today is really cute. Oh, this thing's old. It was a hand-me-down from my sis. Having an older sister must be awesome. Yeah, it's a pain most of the time. You must play with her all the time. She's really sweet. No, not at all. In fact, we had a big fight yesterday. That's awful. Was it a fight your sister started? Uh, well... <laughs> uh, oh. Sis is running out there. Keep going. Uh. Sakura? Uh. Please pay attention to the class, please. Why don't you carry on reading? Uh, okay, but I don't know which part.
what we were up to. Oh, sis, are you all right? I'm home! <sighs> hey, Mom, is sis home? She got home a while ago. She's in her room now. <laughs> Don't you start fighting with her again! Oh, hey, sis. Hmm? I saw you fall today when you were running. You sure are clumsy. You don't need to remind me of something so embarrassing, okay? You're so mean. Well, you went to school on your own and left me behind, so you can consider that punishment. I wish I could have seen the Sasanqua flower with you. Huh? Maruko? Huh. <laughs> then let's see the Sasanqua flower tomorrow. We'll see. I don't know if it'll be blooming tomorrow. <laughs> There's no guarantee, right? To tell you the truth, I've been secretly knitting a muffler for you. Huh? I'll show you when it's finished. Sure. You know, having an older sister must be awesome. You must play with her all the time. She's so sweet. And so a few weeks later... Hey, here's the muffler I knitted for you. I hope you like it. This too. Yay! <laughs> Huh? The notebook. You seem to want a notebook more than me, so I thought I'd just give it to you. Uh, thanks. Maruko felt as though the words on the notebook had been written especially for her. Uh, thanks a lot, sis. In this episode, Maruko wants to know what's in the wicker basket. Hey, Mom, are you in the house somewhere? I'm looking everywhere for you, but can't find you. Hey, you here? Where are you? Mom! Your mom's out right now, sweetheart. Huh? So she's not home? What's the matter? Why don't you tell your grandpa? Okay, I'm looking for Mom because I need to take a box into school tomorrow. So a box, huh? Here we go. A box, a box. Here's a really good one here, Maruko. This box has toys in it that I used to play with when I was a baby. Huh? What's this one here on the bottom? Looks like it was made from tatami mats. Oh, this is a wicker basket called Tsuzura. Tsuzura. Wait a minute. Isn't a Tsuzura a thing that a couple got as a gift for saving the sparrow in the folktale The Tongue Cut Sparrow? You're absolutely right, Maruko. So why is this thing in our house, Grandpa? Hold on, did someone in the family get it from the sparrows or something? <laughs> yes, right. We got it from the sparrows. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, that isn't funny. While you're laughing at me, there could be ghosts inside this scary basket, Grandpa. <laughs> you're totally right. There might be ghosts in it. <laughs> of all the nerve laughing at me like that, he laughed so hard he couldn't even stand up. Meanwhile, there could be ghosts up in this place. Are you busy, sis? What's up? I'm reading my book now, so I don't want to be disturbed. Did you know we have a Tuzura in our house? What? Tuzura? Like from the Tongue Cut Sparrow? Hearing Tuzura, these girls can only think of the Tongue Cut Sparrow. That's right, the Tuzura from the Tongue Cut Sparrow. There were lots of spooky things like ghosts and snakes in the Tuzura that the wicked old woman received. <laughs> what am I supposed to do about it? There might be ghosts in our Tuzura! I seriously doubt that, Maruko. How can you be so certain about that? Listen, the Tongue Cut Sparrow is just an old folk tale. It's childish to believe in it. I am not so sure. What do you say? Can I open it just for a moment to see inside it? No way, that thing is full of old junk. It'll just make the house all messy. He's right, Maruko. There's no point in looking at the contents of the Tsuzura. My curiosity is literally killing me, Mom. Don't you want to check it out, Dad? There might be treasures from ancient ancestors. Stop acting like a child, Maruko. There's nothing like that in our closet, and that's the end of it. It's my greatest dream in life to look inside it. It'll be beyond amazing. Well, it can remain a dream forever. Tama-chan, check it out. I discovered a secret Tsuzura in our closet yesterday. What's a Tsuzura? Why would your parents have an old thing like that in their closet? Mm -hmm. To know, and the contents are a mystery. My parents won't take my investigation seriously. Perhaps there's some sort of forgotten secret mm -hmm. treasure hidden in there. <laughs> I just happened to overhear you talking about your Tsuzura. I would also like to know exactly what's inside of your mystery basket. You startled me. You really shouldn't be eavesdropping, you know. 
Even your own family won't allow you to find out what's inside it. That means that it's an ancient tradition passed down from your ancestors to your family. Ancient tradition? Yes, that's right. For instance, the secret scroll of the ninjas might be in there, in which case a person should be extremely cautious when opening it up. Or a treasure map of the secret fortune of your ancestors is in there. Yeah, of course. So that's why they won't let me see inside the basket. Hey, Maruko, what will you do if there's a secret treasure map? Hey there. I see you guys are pretty excited, huh? Hey, Hanawa. I heard you talking about this basket, and sure, there might be something really nice inside it, but there might be a mummy inside of it, too. I saw a TV show about it the other day. Yeah, <laughs> mummy? That's right. The mummy had been unnoticed for hundreds of years. It was discovered in a regular house, then put on public display. <laughs> mummy, the curse. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't think too much about it, okay? Why would you forbid me to look inside? Just tell me, is there something abominable living within? Yeah, that's right. There's something terrible inside. Don't open it up. Uh, uh, of course, there's a mummy living inside it, isn't there? The thing's in that girl's head. Grandpa! I demand you tell me the truth right now, okay? Huh? What do you mean? What's inside the tzuzura in the closet? Please tell me! Oh, Maruka, uh, look. I'm sorry, I can't tell you. Why can't you tell me, Grandpa? I can't bear this betrayal! Maruko! How can I tell you? I don't know what's inside there. It's a mystery. A haiku by Tomozo. Sheesh. Maruko's constantly nagging me about opening the Tsuzura. She's an odd kid, all right. I wonder why she's so curious about that thing. Huh? Hey, do you actually remember what's inside of it? Mm, I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> what? Neither Mom nor Dad knows what's inside the wicker basket. <laughs> I'll go to the living room and take a peek inside the Tsuzura. I'm way too curious to sleep. Huh? A fort! A person! The mummy! That's the only person it can be! Oh, I'm so tired. Help! 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 The mummy's out there! What am I gonna do? <laughs> Tama-chan. There's something terrible inside the Tsuzura. It's something malevolent. Oh, that's so scary. Mm -hmm. I went to the living room in the middle of the night and saw someone's silhouette. It was scary. Ooh. Goodness! Tsuzura! The Tsuzura in your living room is clearly cursed and must be disposed of before it wreaks havoc on your family. You're the one wreaking havoc. I'm going to open the Tsuzura today and that's that. And what's made you so eager all of a sudden? I won't be stopped on this most righteous of quests! The fate of the family rests with me! You don't need to put on a display like a hero in one of your youth drama shows. Your days are numbered, Suzura! Let's go! That kid. I'm gonna cut back on her TV. Huh? I mustn't be too hasty. Surely it's dangerous to open the Suzura alone. I need to get help. Hey, Grandpa, I need you to help me open the Tsuzura. If we don't do it now, our whole family is in great peril. Uh, Let's go! Maruko! Where are we going? And where did you get this strong? Grandpa, let's open the Tsuzura. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Maruko, there's just one thing that I'm a little concerned with. Huh? A little concerned? Well, what is it, Grandpa? I need to know. It's your hat. Why are you wearing it indoors? Huh? Uh, is that better, Grandpa? All right, then. Let's do this thing. <laughs> it's heavy. Almost got it. Oh. <sighs> it's finally out. Grandpa, I have to warn you. Nobody in this house knows what's inside of this thing. Even if you're scared, don't run away. Ah. 
There's a distinct possibility there's a murderous mummy living in this basket. <laughs> no way. I'm gonna run. Here's the moment of truth. All right, let's do this. Oh, see, it's just a bottle of Mamushi. Don't be afraid. Well, I was so afraid. Mamushi liquor? That's right. It was stored here in the basket and I completely forgot about it. Huh? The panda I had when I was small. <laughs> it's a lucky bag. I thought I'd lost this. I wonder what's inside it. Ah, so you finally opened it, huh? Uh, hey there, uh, Dad. My goodness, look at all that stuff. So, what did you guys find in there? Anything good? There's lots of things. Huh? Ah! That box! That's where I kept my secret savings! Huh? <laughs> Cute bib. Hey, Dad, uh, what's inside that little box uh, right there? No! Don't touch it! That's mine! Hey, look, Grandma, oh. there's money in here! No, no, stop! Stop touching my money! Oh, what could that be? Somebody's secret savings or something like that? What kind of person digs a hole deeper for himself? Huh? There's writing here. Somebody wrote hee hey. Do you know what it means, Dad? <laughs> nope, uh, uh, nope, 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 I don't. <laughs> it's so, so weird. <laughs> well, I guess I'll take a bath now. <laughs> <sighs> I'm pretty sure I got away with it. Hee <laughs> hey is funny. <laughs> While Hiroshi did think he'd gotten away with it, Mom was smart enough to figure out that Hihei was actually a code that meant Hiroshi's secret savings. Hiroshi's relaxing moments soaking in the tub can only last a short time. 